All right, so this one, this lava chart is the G major pentatonic scale. So the whole idea is that it's built around this G chord. If you look at these blue notes, a G chord, if you put them all together, it's kind of like this chord that a lot of guitar players know, or this chord. So that would be using this G note here, this B note there, this high G note. So play all the strings. You've got these open notes in there as well, the DGB. So we could sing all those blue notes. G, B, D, G, B, D, G. <laughs> you could sing them forwards, you could sing them backwards. B, G, D, B, G. Um, so that's kind of like picking the notes out of the chord. Uh, and you could maybe make a little song, random song, out of just the blue notes. Doing like a G, 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 D, G, D. Maybe a pull off. D to the B. Let's try to make it like a phrase where it's singable. So it's got a bunch of notes, then a little pause. Kind of like a sentence. You don't just kind of keep plucking forever. Often in music, we're trying to make it sound like singing, which is kind of like talking, but sing talking with a bunch of notes and then there's a punctuation where we pause break oftentimes in music there's patterns right so maybe we'll do it again whatever we just did and repeat it maybe each time we might vary the pattern if we want doing it in like patterns of twos threes or fours but that's just the blue notes maybe we want to turn it into what we call a pentatonic scale Penta means five letters, so we're doing the GBD, that's three letters. And if we were to add in some of these pentatonic notes, you'd have an E and an A here. So E, A, that's two notes, and the other three, GBD, that's penta. So that's G, uh, G, B, D, and then we have A and E, that's five different letters. So five letters is that fancy word pentatonic five tones five notes um, it's, it's in a lot of cool songs um, and if we cover that now it eventually covers the whole fretboard but we could start by covering this this section just playing blues and greens blues and greens with this lava chart is what you could call the g pentatonic major scale technically there's other ways to look at it they've got the name and the thinking isn't so important just think of the letters and the colors but I mean, you could call it this other name an E minor pentatonic. That's a whole other story. But the whole point is in the thinking of it from the G chord, these are your blue colors, right? And the green colors are kind of like these other color tones that sound really nice with the chord, but they're not as resolved. So maybe we might want to use them um, in a different way. We could practice singing just the E's and A's. Like here's a good exercise. Big e string the a that's the greens and then we'd find this e and then this a and there's also this small e string so we could sing that forwards we could sing it backwards the small e then the a e a e. <laughs> so just singing those letters forwards and backwards then we can make a random tune out of just green notes e e a a a remember to do a phrase you want to probably end a little pause maybe repeat it e e a a e e a maybe vary it I'm trying to make it sound like music or singing um but we're making singing out of these different letter combinations so in this game, all the other letters would be like falling in lava. So you tr try to avoid them because then it wouldn't be the pentatonic scale. They just wouldn't work for this one game we're trying to play, um, this jam. So now let's combine blues and greens. So now it's a full pentatonic scale, but we're going to target. We're going to try and end on certain notes. So this time I want to make a bunch of random blues and greens. Maybe I'll find a cool melody. Maybe I won't. I'm just exploring. And then... I'm going to end on a G. So my target means like you play a bunch of notes and you end somewhere like a phrase and do a pause, take a breath like this. 
blacks. So a bunch of blues and greens. Mm -hmm. Try some pull offs of these notes. Now I should probably end it so it sounds like the end of a sentence or a phrase. And I'm going to go the high G. Then I ended there. Maybe rest, cover the strings for a second, take a little breath or a pause, kind of like a singer would do. Maybe repeat it. Something similar. Pull offs, pull offs, pull offs, pull offs. And on the high G. All right. That kind of worked. I have two, two patterns that I repeated. Now maybe we'll end on a different target note, but maybe we'll keep ending on, on blues. So now we're going to end on a D. So play a bunch of... And as long as it's blues or greens, it, it kind of fits the scale. But we want to end D on the D note for that target. We'll do it again. A bunch of playing around. But now we're going to end on high D. And then we could keep ending on different targets, just experimenting. So music can be, with this these kinds of games, kind of an endless different ways of of playing with these notes but trying to make it musical some of these games and strategies can be really helpful trying to come up with riffs um, so using pull-offs using hammer-ons maybe ending your phrases on a target note one of these notes the blues are going to be more resolved sounding the greens are going to be a little bit less resolved but you like that it's kind of cool but try not Usually when you're making a solo, you want to kind of avoid just constantly plucking notes because it doesn't really sound like singing. That's just my opinion. Everyone can try their own thing, but sometimes it can sound like a run on sentence and it's hard to catch on to something if there's no pauses. So playing a bunch of notes, then a pause. Then you can kind of sing it back. It kind of gets stuck in your mind, right? If there's if there's little spaces to, to keep the phrases. Um, so those are some fun strategies you could try with this pentatonic scale. Let's see what else is there. There is. Um... Oh, so when you're doing this, you often want to hear a chord in the background. So one really cool thing to do is play like um, a G chord. So if you got a loop pedal, you could do that or you could listen to my G chord as your backing band or your backing track, whoever's playing with you. G chord. So you can keep that sound going as you now solo over top of it. You can strum any pattern or picking pattern, but have some kind of loop or a backing track that's just one chord, just a G chord. What I'm doing is constantly playing those blue notes, basically, in your backing track. So when you play blue notes, you harmonize blue on the G chord or the G triad. When you play the green notes, you've got these cool other pentatonic notes that are kind of pretty that go with it. Called color tones, the green ones. So during this, you could make your own loop, play along with me now, making your own solo. Maybe try targeting and ending on different notes. I'll send a link for um, a backing track that just has a, a G chord going in the background where you can practice exploring playing in and out with blues and greens and try some of these different games. There's an endless number of games, almost endless, that we could invent with this. Make your own. I'll send some more ideas and strategies you can use to kind of help create some really interesting solos from these lava games. So <laughs> just remember the the... Notes that we're not playing in here would technically be lava, so we're going to try and avoid them with this game. Try it out. Have fun. <laughs>